hid my dead bought me a new shotgun. And uh, maybe it goes back to that, this story I'm gonna tell you. I remember walking out across my dad's ranch and uh, a bird, a large bird flew over me and I shot it and it fell. And I went and picked that bird up and it was, uh, people are gonna hate me for hearing this, but it was a, a large red-headed woodpecker. I looked at that bird and I said, you know, one day I'm going to, I'm going to make up for this. I was an agriculturalist, uh, trying to get all I could for the land. But since that time, I've realized that this land is not just a resource to be used and abused. It's something that we have to take care of, you know, and look at all of it. We have to go back to the way it was if we're going to save these precious natural resources we've been given to enjoy. The messages that Mother Nature sends us, yes, I do believe that happens more often than man wants to admit. My objective in buying this place was largely a selfish one of having more quail I could hunt. I was going to have more quail on my land than anybody had ever seen. Just show the world it could be done. Needless to say, it's not an easy chore to try to bring back this bird. The numbers have gone down since 1970, like 90%. Perhaps it goes back to my childhood, but uh, something kept telling me it was bigger than that. Bigger than just having quail. I've realized that what you're trying to save is not above it always, but below the surface. My name is Jim Giacomo. I'm the coordinator of the Oaks and Prairies Joint Venture, and we manage the Grassland Restoration Incentive Program. Over the past 60 years, we've seen over a 90% decline in grassland habitat. With massive loss of grasslands, we've lost wildlife populations, including many bird species. The recent calculations, three billion birds since 1970, a quarter of those birds were grassland birds, 720 million birds. At the scale that the bird populations are changing, it also indicates that the health of our land is changing and may eventually affect us as people. Going back to my childhood, when water would hit the native grasses on my dad's place and the surrounding area where I grew up, it would go in the ground. These native grasses were tall stature, and when a drop of rain would hit those, it would shatter and run down into the roots. Today, because we plant all these exotic grasses, the water would hit the ground and run off the top, over the top, and carry with it all the, the toxic chemicals as well as the, the commercial fertilizers, all the stuff that we have on the land now into the streams. So maybe that's what caused me to realize it's bigger than just having more bob white quail out here. It was having uh, better land, better natural resources. Restoration is not an easy process. Just because I wanted to do it, just because I understood the need for doing it, didn't mean that I knew how to do it. The Grassland Restoration Incentive Program, or GRIP, gives our partners and landowners a tool to address grassland loss. Right now we're out here counting birds, looking at the habitats that they're in. Most of what we do is listen for calls, and sometimes we see them, sometimes we don't, but we can identify most of the birds by calls. Bottom line is the birds are telling us about the land condition and whether it's good enough for them. If they're there and if their populations are growing, then the habitat is in pretty good condition. I'm a person of action, I suppose, and uh, GRIP allowed me to be that person I wanted to be with respect to conservation. By being a part of GRIP, one of the things we do is try to remove invasive grasses. We have to go in and not overgraze. So we have to take cattle off for a while. And so we let that land rest and grow up so that we have fuel 
to do a prescribed burn. Then we burn it. Following that, we put in uh, cover crops. Following that, we sometimes use herbicides as necessary and plant native grasses in that, say, winter cover crop. We can tell right now by the birds that we're hearing that grip is working for Mr. Willis's property. When we get out here and hear the morning calls of all these birds, that's the magic hour, the exciting part of the morning. And to know that the quail are here because of the type of management that we're doing through GRIP, that gives us a, a great feeling of satisfaction in, in, in a job well done. When I uh, look out over this land we own here, before I saw a wildlife desert. I saw grass grazed down to the ground. I saw a lot of dirt. Today I see a land that's covered with something beneficial, a land that's not baked by the sun, not washed off by the rains, a land that's, uh, that's healthy again. RIP is not just about cost sharing, it's the expertise you get with it. We gotta be wise, we gotta work smart, we gotta save and conserve as well as produce the food and fiber this nation needs.